Right now, we have $1, and by the end of today's video, we're gonna be walking away with over $100 by just trade-ups alone. However, since you guys are always asking, I'm gonna be breaking down how I get floats for these trade-ups. Option number one is going to be using a buy order on Steam. Now, unfortunately, you don't really get to pick and choose which skins come in with a buy order, considering you're opening up the price to anyone with that exact skin. Therefore, it's a little bit more undesirable than some of the later methods. However, this one's going to be the most reliable. This is one of the places that have a very high liquidity and you're going to be able to get a lot of skins in. Unfortunately, when you hit with the steam tax and everything else, it may not be your best option. Option number two is going to be heading over to buff 163. This is extremely nice because you can find the exact float you're looking for with their super easy to use float feature. However, it comes with a catch and that's the fact that you're going to be overpaying significantly for the exact float you need, sometimes up to potentially 100% or double the price if you need that exact float in specific situations making it not as desirable as option number three. Option number three is the best of both worlds with today's sponsor, SkinSwap. Their top of the line trading feature when you use that first link in the description is going to offer a significant amount of advantage inside of trade-ups. What I suggest you do is you use the trade lock feature and look at items that are either unlocked or just one day away and start scouting out some skins that are going to help you in your trade-up adventure. As you can see right here, this P90 Vent Rush is the market price and it's only three hours away from being unlocked. But look at that float. That float would cost you $1.59 on buff, but with the 40% top-up bonus that skin swap gives you by using the link in the description, it's only going to cost you 99 cents here. Now I went from nothing to a knife, and that nothing we're starting with is one singular case drop, the Dreams and Nightmares case. When quick sold, it's going to give you $1 exactly, let's hop on into it. Since we've only started with $1, we're going to be looking for 80 cents for our first trade-up. We're looking for 10 field-tested light blue skins from the Italy collection. 0.23 on the float is going to be very attainable, and as long as we don't hit that sawed off we're in good shape. And here we are, let's start it off with a bang. Perfect. Trade up number two, we're going to be heading on over to the Dust 2 collection. We're looking for 10 field tested skins. Once again, these are light blue and we're looking for a 10 cent buy order. 0.25 or below on the float is extremely obtainable. And the best part about this one is we've got two attempts. As long as we hit the M4 on one of them, we're going to be in good shape for the future. And here we are with attempt number one. Perfect. And here we are with attempt number two. Okay. Trade up number three are where things start to get interesting. We're going to be looking for five field tested skins from the Prisma 1 collection. These are going to be 0.2 or below on the float. A 12 cent buy order is all you're going to be able to do. The other five skins are going to be five minimal wear skins from the Prisma 2 collection, 0.1 or below on the float for these ones. Now, this is going to be a little bit risky because we need to hit that op Aetheris, the Desert Eagle Light Rail, or the UMP, or we're going to be walking away a loser, which we really can't afford. All right, and here we go for this one. One. Oh, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I'm gonna have to call an audible and hit out this trade up a lot. We're looking at 10 minimal wear skins from the Dreams and Nightmares collection, 0.092 on the float, and a 10 cent buy order. It's going to make us a massive profit if we come down to our outcomes and we're hitting either that USPS or that M4A1S, and even two of the other outcomes are going to be roughly break evens, so this is a really profitable one. All right, here goes attempt number one. Okay, attempt number two. Oh, attempt number three. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. Attempt number six. Thank you! Thank you! I planned out seven attempts on this one and I got the skins for seven attempts, not thinking it would take all seven, but... You know, it turned out pretty okay. That's awesome. Trade up number five is going to be the exact same thing, but in stat track. It's worked for us so far, and with a buy order of 31 cents, on average, we should be making a dollar and 52 cents per trade up because that USPS is almost a seven dollar profit. Hopefully we can hit it. This is like the first one I've been nervous for because this is our make or break. If we could hit that USPS or M4, let's see it. Oh. If we can hit this one, this is really where the ball starts to get rolling. This is the last attempt I have for this one, so please let us pull this off. Yes! That is huge! That is huge! That's a huge hit because now we can do five different trade-ups. The first of which is right here. We're going for a 7-3 split. Three skins from the Prisma 1 collection, 0.2 or below on the float, 25 cent buy order. Seven skins from the Spectrum 1 collection, 0.095 on the float and a 50 cent buy order. Coming down to our outcomes, we've got a 68% chance to walk away with profit. Anything but the UMP for the Spectrum. And if we hit the Prisma collection, we're looking for the off. Here we go. Let's see it. 
Oh, that's the best profit from the Spectrum Collection. We will take that. Our next trade up is a super easy float 0.1265. We're looking for 10 minimal wear skins in stat track from the Spectrum Collection. This is a super easy float for all the ones from the previous trade up that you get that just don't fit that float requirement, which is why I'm throwing it in here. It's not the most spectacular trade up at only 108% profitability, but you've still got a four fifths chance to profit, and it's a really good use for those skins you can't use on the past one. Here we go. Super easy trade up. Let's see it. Perfect. We'll take it. We're now at $12.50 and we're going to be spending $5.60 on this trade up right here. Super easy float. We're looking for 10 minimal wear skins from the clutch collection 0 0.10925 or below. Basically, you're going to want to make sure your Op Mortis is coming out in Factory New. For this one, it's not too complicated. Like I just mentioned, 56 spent by order. You can go a little bit higher, but you're going to cut into your profit. And we're looking for the AUG or the Op. Let's hop on into it. All right, this is the start of where they start to get expensive. Let's see it. Perfect, we'll take it. Another relatively easy trade up. We're looking for 10 field tested skins from the Felchin collection. In this one, a 0.218 float or below is going to be required, and a 56 cent buy order is all you're going to be able to do. Now, coming down to our outcomes, you can see it's obviously skewed. We need to hit that MP7 Nemesis, or we're going to be walking away with a loss, which we just can't afford. All right, this is this is one of the bigger ones. Let's see it. Ugh. I'm calling it audible and breaking this one out early. We're going back to that clutch collection trade up 0 0.10925. We're doing it in stat track this time and a dollar 13 buy order is exactly where you want to sit at. This one's even better because we're going to be making $5 with the op or the aug and we're only going to be losing about a dollar if we hit that USP, but we're not going to because we're hitting one of those first two. Let's see it. All right. We didn't grind all the way here from a dollar not to hit this. Let's see it. BAM! Exactly what we wanted to see. That is amazing. However, now we gotta go for it because I've got a super risky, super profitable trade up for you. We're gonna be doing a 5 5 split. Five skins are going to be Stat Track Factory New from the Spectrum Collection, 0.04 or below on the float, and five minimal wear skins from the Prisma Collection, 0.1 or below on the float. Spectrum skins, I paid 83 cents. You can pay a little less, honestly. The Prisma skins, I went for a 64 cent buy order. And coming down to the outcomes, there's only one thing we're looking for, and it's that op. Otherwise, we might end up with a massive loss. I'd be lying here if I didn't say I was nervous for this one. This one could make or break it. Let's see it. Oh, now very rarely in life do you get a second chance, but that's exactly what we have right here. This is all in for us. We need to hit this and we're heading back to the Falchion collection looking for that MP7 nemesis, but now we're doing it in stat track. Still float 0.218 and the buy order at $1.47 means this is everything we got. If we don't hit this, it is not going to go well for us. That MP7 nemesis is almost $45 and if we lose, we're going to be losing about four or five dollars so we really need this this is the switching point right here if you haven't dropped a like already please do so come on let's see it with $12.80 left, we have one singular trade up we can do that try and bring this back. That's going to be this one right here. We're looking for 10 stat track field tested skins from the recoil collection, 0.194 or below on the float, and we need to hit an AK 47 ice cold if we want to bring it back. But the P250 is just a very small profit, but we're looking for that AK. All right, here we are for it. Let's see that AK. Yes, that is massive. That brings us right back into it. And the best part is I actually grabbed a second attempt because I was really hoping we would either hit the P250 or the AK the first time. Let's see another AK. Oh my gosh. No way. That is massive. Now that we hit that, we can head back to the Falchion collection because I've got one last attempt here to try and hit that MP7 Nemesis. Here we are. If we could hit that, this would put us at like $75. Let's see it. The next trade up, we're heading on over to the Breakout Collection. We're looking for Stat Track and in the Purple Rarity. We're looking for nine field tested skins, 0.225 or below on the float, and a $1.74 buy order is exactly where you want to be. You're also going to have one minimal wear skin, which we did just to make the average float a little bit easier. 0.11 on the float and $2.49 for the buy order. Coming down to our outcomes, as long as we don't hit that 5.7, we're going to be in quite good shape. This would be absolutely spectacular. Putting us at about $60. Let's see it. BAM! Exactly what we wanted to see. This has got to be the least risky trade up of the video because the floats are a little bit hard. We're heading on over to the CS20 collection, purples, and stat track. Seven of the skins are going to be minimal wear. $2.21 for a buy order is a little bit over market price. However, 0.09 for the float is a little bit difficult. 
for the remaining three skins, we're looking for field tested 0.19 or below on the float. Dollar forty five is what I want for a buy order. Now this one, it's super not risky. You're losing three dollars with the Hydra, but you're making eight dollars with the other two outcomes. Let's go get our money. All right, let's go ahead and knock this one down. Perfect Aug Death by Puppy. We will take it. Our second to last trade up here is a goodie. We're going to be heading on over to the Horizon Collection. We're doing a 5 5 split in Stat Track format. Five minimal wear skins, about a $3 buy order, and 0.1 or below on the float. Five field tested skins, 0.2 or below on the float, and a $1.28 buy order. Coming down to the outcomes, we need to hit the M4A1S, otherwise, we're going to be losing about six to seven bucks. This trade up isn't necessarily needed since we hit those extra ice colds, but it would definitely be nice. Let's see it. That was kind of expected. This is the last trade up if we can come through and hit it. We're looking for 10 minimal wear skins from the recoil collection, stat track 0 .0909 on the float. It's a pretty commonly known trade up, but it's not easy to get the floats. But if we can go ahead and hit that AK-47, we're going to be looking at over $100 total for the series. Let's go get it. I just got the last filler today. Come on now. Let's go ahead and see that AK-47. Oh, the P250 Visions. All right, a day and a half later, we're back with another attempt at this. Let's go ahead, see that ice cold. Yes, yes, yes! And because we hit that AK-47 ice cold, we've got three different options to choose from. We've got the Navaha Blue Steel, the Gut Knife Scorched, or the Shadow Daggers Urban Mast, all for absolutely free because of today's video.